sunshine, friends and a few nibbles. But things can quickly turn sour when it comes to double dipping. The name given to dunking a chip or a bit of veg into a dip, taking a bite and then going back in for a second time. <laughs> Are you double dipping? Yeah, I do it all the time. Sharing food at a party with friends is exactly what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, but you don't know what people have got. <laughs> Ali, What's wrong with it? why don't you double dip? It's not very nice, Jimmy. It's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. You really thought about this? Yeah. Doesn't that worry you? Don't bother me at all. I'm yeah. prepared to double dip you if right. you can prove to me that it's safe to do so. Really? Yeah. We have to get all sciencey. Yeah, prove before it. Before you're satisfied. Absolutely. Right. Go off with your dirty breadstick <laughs> and be tested. <laughs> Never one to pass over a thrown gauntlet, I'm taking up this dirty double dipping challenge. I've come to a Mexican restaurant in Brighton to delve into some of my favourite dips with food safety expert Jonathan France. Hi, Mark. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Now, listen, we're going to share some food. You're going to tell me the pitfalls yeah. of that business. Good. Right? Yeah. Shall we have some nachos? Nachos. Great Beautiful. sharing food. Yeah, nice Thanks very much. Jonathan advises companies on food hygiene, so will he convince me double dipping's a bit gross, or, as I think, just a storm in a salsa pot? Played a bit of a trick on you uh, earlier right. when we shook hands. Right. I've got some uh, UV stuff on my hands, and uh, we can demonstrate with putting the lights out. You had something on your hands? Yeah, yeah. OK. Shall we see where it's transferred? Before I arrived, Jonathan applied invisible forensic UV powder to his hands, which only shows up under ultraviolet light. Oh, my word. OK. Got some up here, got some, oh, some on my shirt. Looks like you might have a little bit on your face. Have I? <laughs> a little well, bit. I'm always touching my face. I'm always doing this. Now, just imagine Jonathan had a cold and this invisible UV powder were his germs. That's amazing, because, what, if in five minutes, yeah. that's gone everywhere. Yeah. But surely a tiny drop of saliva in a dip won't hurt. Jonathan's using water and food colouring to prove me wrong. If we think this chip's already been into someone's mouth, if you think of where the food dye being your saliva, yeah. uh, from your first bite, and then back into the dip, you can see it transfers into whatever you're putting it into. So that's what's happening when you double dip? Yeah. I mean, that small amount of saliva will contain a lot of bacteria. When put like that, I admit it's starting to sound a bit gross. Now, apart from sort of common colds and coughs and things like that, what sort of nasties can we harbour in our mouth? Then? Yeah, so norovirus. So nice. One that makes people that must uh, be at vomiting. The top of the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, sore throat, streptococcus. Right. Um, then herpes simplex. So the cold sore one. That's something Ooh. particularly nasty. I never thought of that. And you're going to stick with it for the rest of your life. When I go to a party, I don't <laughs> ever think about these things. Do you have? Do you have trouble going to parties? No. 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 Love a party. Yeah. Right. Okay. I just watch out for people who double dip like you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. <laughs> So maybe double dipping is a bit nastier than I thought.